But the reason I wanted to talk to you today and put out this video is because of the hearsay and the unconfirmed reports from someone who we don't know, who has not been named, has not been verified, uh, that apparently and allegedly the attacker shouted Britain first or put Britain first or put in British people first during this attack. At the moment we do not know what was said. The words I heard him say was Britain first or put Britain first. There's no evidence whatsoever uh, that Britain first was shouted. The words I heard him say was Britain first or put Britain first. I can't say which exactly what it was but definitely Britain first is what, what he said when he was shouting. He shouted at least twice. Nothing's been confirmed. Definitely Britain first is what, what he said when he was shouting. He shouted at least twice. No one's been named. This is Clark Rothwell. No one's been named. This is Clark Rothwell. There's been no eyewitness accounts published in the media. I heard a woman screaming. Um, and then a guy was bent over the woman. I could you see a leg sticking out? It looked like a gun in his hand. And then proceeded to shoot it again on the floor. She was caught. This is Clark Rothwell, an eyewitness. And this is his only TV interview. And then stabbed her a few times with, this, with the knife that he had. And, then, uh, and it's not just what he saw. Disturbingly, listen to what he heard. What words did you the, hear? The words I heard him say was Britain first or put Britain first. I can't say which exactly what it was, but definitely Britain first is what, what he said when it was shouting. He, he shouted at least twice. Yesterday, Labour MP Joe Cox was attacked on the streets of Yorkshire and died as a result of the injury she suffered. The media are using terms such as right-wing extremist, right-wing terrorist. And they reported that the alleged gunman, who has been named as Tommy Mayer, shouted Britain first. In this case, there are supposedly three eyewitnesses. The first eyewitness is alleged to have said that the shooter shouted Britain first whilst carrying out his attack. In actual fact, this witness who was the first to have been quoted by the media as allegedly confirming that the shooter shouted Britain first, has publicly confirmed that he wasn't at the scene, he was in his car stuck in traffic at the time, and he has posted a poster in the window of his business confirming that he was not there, he did not hear anyone shout Britain first, and he did not say that he had. The second of the supposed eyewitnesses was quoted by the media as saying he heard the shooter shout Britain first during and after the attack.
This is what he had to say when approached by a news reporter. You know, some people have said that there was Britain first was being said. Never heard that. Hitchem, where, 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 where are you? Which restaurant are you from? As you can see, the first and second of the supposed eyewitnesses have both confirmed that they did not hear the shooter shout Britain first. <laughs> pulled out the gun and uh, fired the first shot. When he fires the first shot, people scattered. When they scattered, we ran to the, back to the restaurant. When they scattered, we ran to the, back to the restaurant. When they scattered, we ran to the, back to the restaurant. We heard the second shot. And then we waited. We were all very scared. And then we waited. And then we waited. And then we waited. eyewitness gave this account to the media. What words did you the, hear? The words I heard him say was Britain first or put Britain first. I can't say which exactly what it was. But... So here we have an eyewitness who said he possibly heard the shooter shout. Definitely Britain first is what, what he said when it was shouting. He shouted at least twice. Possibly heard the shooter shout. Definitely Britain first. Is... Possibly. Definitely Britain first. Is... Definitely Britain first. Is... Definitely Britain first. Is very different to how the media are portraying this situation. I personally have confirmed to almost every major news outlet in Britain that this alleged shooter, who we, we know who has been locally named as Tommy Mayer, was not and is not a member of Britain First, is not a Britain First activist. I have never seen him, I have never met him, I have never heard his name. We cannot make it any clearer than that. It's going to end in bloodshed. It's going to end in civil war in this country. And we know that. We've said it many times. If the police don't take action, if the, if the politicians you're... don't take action, then we will. But you're prepared to, you said. You've said if the law's not enforced, you're prepared to do it yourself. Of course. Now I can say right now, and they can take this as a threat if they want. One day in the future, the, the boot is going to be on the other foot. Why do they try and throw obstacles in our way? It's because they're running scared at the power and the potential that Britain first and the waves that we're making in this country. They are worried sick. Well, I can tell you now, it will not stop the inexorable march of this movement. One day, the boot will be on the other foot and you will answer for your crimes against our people. Just, Rick, just think for one moment the spirits of all those people, all those brave souls who charged up the beaches of Normandy. All those brave souls, all the pilots in the Spitfires and the Hurricanes are looking down on us, urging us to be worthy of their example. They fought for Britain, we're going to fight for Britain, and no one's going to stop us.
It's about time that everyone, all the people at home watching this video, make a stand. Sitting on the sidelines and being silent is no longer an option. We have to have our voice heard, we have to take a stand. There's going to be hundreds and hundreds of patriots from all around the country descending on Dewsbury this Saturday. We are meeting at the train station at 1pm. There's going to be lots and lots of local people joining us. So all I'm asking you is, don't sit on the sidelines any longer. Make a stand. And we have had enough. The people of Europe have had enough. And the fault lies not with these refugees, not with these migrants, but with the spineless, gormless, self-serving, corrupt, career politicians that rule the United Kingdom. But the fact is that the people in positions of power in this country are against Christianity. If we all go about our day-to-day -day lives as peacefully as possible, trying to avoid any conflict, just keeping our heads down and getting along with everyone, pretending that we haven't got all of these issues. So really this, this video was just to highlight that as much as this may be being encouraged in churches of England, uh, you know, across Britain, it's actually not what Britain first stand for. And as a Christian, and as, you know, I've discussed this with other leaders within the movement, this is not how to save this country. If we want to save Britain, we don't keep our heads down and avoid any conflict and try and just live peacefully with our neighbours. What we need to do is take up our swords. What we need to do is take up our swords. What we need to do is take up our swords. Our children and their children will be doomed. We have had enough of these career politicians selling us down the drain. This is why four years ago Britain First was established. Because we have had enough. We are sick to death of the politicians and it's going to end in bloodshed and civil war. We're trying to take our country back from the corrupt self-serving career politicians. We're trying to take our country back from people like David Cameron uh, and Jeremy Corbyn and all the mainstream politicians and we're fed up of it. We are going to take our country back. Whether it takes us 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, it doesn't matter. We will take our country back and nothing can stop us. And I hope that as a British patriot, you at home, you will join us. We want a country where corrupt politicians are no more. The self-serving career politicians who are fiddling their expenses at Westminster are selling us out at every twist and turn. And we are not having it anymore. We want our country back. We will never take our 20 pieces of silver to betray our country like all of our politicians have done. Now's the time to get up off your backside and do something about this. We're the people who are prepared to fight and to die to take our country back. To take our country back from the politicians, I'll be damned. Over my dead body, will anyone take this country off of my people? Britain First is the voice of the silent majority and we are sick to death of greedy politicians treating British people like second class citizens. Enough is enough. Corrupt politicians are constantly cutting spending on the elderly and the disabled. The new left wing extremist fringe that has taken over the Labour Party. It was eye-catching, it was meant to be, it was done for a reason, it, it got people's attention. We are running out of time, if we want to build a future for our children and grandchildren, now is the time to stand up, put your head above the parapet and be heard. What you do is, this is the perfect time for like haymaking type ones. So you swing, yeah. See, I'm not going backwards or forwards. So this is our very first academy and uh, we're going to be holding them all over the country. Uh, we've got trainers here, professional boxing coaches uh, and, and, and submission uh, coaches etc etc. So this is the very first one uh, and I hope we're going to be holding one up north in the Midlands and in other areas of the country. This historic mission to save our country and 2016 is going to be the year of Britain first.
commanding officer for the South East. And um, have you found what's been discussed today? Do you think that will be beneficial to you personally in, in, in uh, you know, organising your unit? Absolutely. There's a lot of things I've learned today that I do know. I could take away and put into practice in my unit. It's a big unit. Yeah. Yeah. So I could, uh, I could use this all around the area. And, and pass the knowledge from today down to your activists, hopefully. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ryan, so thank you for joining us today. You're the Deputy Commanding Officer for our Ulster Brigade, aren't you? Yes. Stan, thank you for joining us today. You're the Deputy Commanding Officer for the Midlands, aren't you? I am, yeah. Brilliant, so you can take some of this knowledge and pass it on to your activists. And how are things going in the Midlands? They're going good. It's getting stronger as it is, isn't it? And that's something we've discussed today, isn't it? Oh, yeah. How to build on activities and grow the, the movement. Mandy, thank you for joining us today. You're the commanding officer for Kent, aren't you? Yes, I am. Peter, thanks for joining us today. You are deputy commanding officer for Scotland, aren't you? Yes. Paul, thank you for joining us today. You're the deputy commanding officer for our South East region, aren't you? We got the cream of Britain first in one room for the first time since we launched four years ago. And we've told them that we are going to be expecting a lot more from them individually within their regions. We've dealt with uh, left-wing infiltrators and tips and tricks and dark arts and all kinds of stuff. And we've been here for now over seven hours. And it's the first type of training event that we've held, but we are going to be holding these every three months from now because the more these guys know about the political dark arts and trade craft, then the more successful Britain First will be. So I'm hoping that when they go back now, they'll be really infused and do a really spectacular job uh, as commanding officers, as the leaders of this movement in their regions. If we want to save Britain, we don't keep our heads down and avoid any conflict and try and just live peacefully with our neighbours. What we need to do is take up our swords. And they can take this as a threat if they want.